happy new year. It has been a little bit since I've done a little YouTube video, okay? So I hope y'all didn't leave me and this video has zero views. I hope not. I hope you're watching because today's video is super exciting. It is like a little roundup of all of my favorite home decor finds from 2021. And I've done this video in the past and nobody really watched it. So I hope some people watch it this year and that is you if you are watching it. So please leave a comment, leave a like. If you haven't been to my channel before, hello, I'm Lindsay and I own a vintage shop called Adobe Vintage, which kind of explains why I collect a lot of vintage things. I go thrifting a lot. So come join us on this adventure, okay? It's fun. It's a good time here, okay? Okay, so I'm first gonna start off with this amazing find that my boyfriend Jordan actually got. And it is a kite lamp. It has this beautiful canvas material on this kind of chrome base. And then the bulb is in there. And we think it's probably from like the 60s, maybe. Maybe even earlier, the 50s. We think it's Gregory Van Pelt. We think it's Gregory Van Pelt, okay? And it is beautiful. It is so like neutral and modern, but also can have that like vintage feel. It doesn't look like it's brand new, which we love. We love when things don't look like they're from Ikea. You know what I mean? Next, you might be able to see it behind me. It is this really amazing, beautiful squiggle mirror. Now there's a little story behind this. It was at this antique store and Jordan and I saw it a couple of months ago. And then for Christmas, he went back and got it and he surprised me with it on Christmas. And it is amazing. I love the waviness of it. It is wavy like all the way around. And I don't know where I wanna put it yet. Should I put it right here actually and like hang it on the wall or should it have its own little moment somewhere else? I'm not sure, you gotta let me know. But that is definitely on the top of my list because it's a gift from my Jordy, and I love it. Okay, speaking of mirrors, I actually found quite a few mirrors this year that I'm in love with. I kept finding them here and there, um, a lot from antique stores. So I wanna show you this next mirror, this style of like a vanity mirror, and it's a very light wood, which I love light wood right now. Anything light wood or light wicker or blonde, wood I'm obsessed with. I wanna like go with that light airy feel in the house this year, which will lead me to my next item, which I'm very excited to show you, but hold on. First, let's talk about this mirror. It has this little ledge right here. I can even, oh no, oh wait, yeah I can. I was gonna say I can even hang it on the wall if I want to, but I just love the design right here and it's beautiful. I found this at an antique store for only $40, which I thought was a really good deal. I wanna show you this other mirror really quickly. It is this beautiful hand wood carved mirror. Look at these details, you guys. It is beautiful. It's like this very thick piece of wood and I feel like it's pretty old because when you look at the hardware on the back, this seems pretty old to me and it might have been somebody's home project, but I also feel like I've seen a lot of these types of mirrors come from India, and oh my God, you guys, it has that light, blonde, whitewashed wood look, which I love, and I have this styled above our bar cart, which it looks really pretty all by itself, just a little statement piece over in the corner. You're kind of like, ooh, what is that? And then you get up close and it's a little mirror. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I've been looking for a credenza for the dining room slash living room area that I'm in right now for the house. And I found it from another local reseller, my girl, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, if you're watching. I'm obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. It is exactly what I have been looking for. It has that beautiful cane detailing on the front. And then if you look closely, can you guys tell this has a mirror effect behind and it kind of gives it this floating look which is super cool. That is one of my new favorite furniture pieces in the house. I cannot wait to see what else I could find this year because 
If I found that last year, can you imagine like the dining table I'm gonna find this year, putting it into the universe right now? Beautiful dining table, light color, palette, neutral, uh, natural finishes. Okay, just sent it off. Okay, now let's hop into some smaller things that you can probably see behind me. So I found this pillow from an amazing little shop on Instagram. It just came through an Instagram ad. So you guys, if you have a vintage shop, you should probably run some ads because an ad worked on me and I found this really cool, like, is this sheep? What is this? You know, I probably don't want to know. I'm going to say it's alpaca. So you don't have to kill the alpaca to get the wool. So I'm going to say this is alpaca, but look at this beautiful design, you guys. It is so beautiful. It reminds me of something that Kelly Worsler would have in one of her designs, like at the Santa Monica Proper Hotel. Come on. I just love the texture of it. I love that it's round. It looks really amazing just thrown on a chair or on the couch. Then I wanna show you this really beautiful French candy box that I found recently before Christmas at a vintage store. It even has Paris stamped on the bottom and some cool French stamps. And then the front is just so cute. Like look at this lady with her cherries. Like her little cherry tree, she's happy to be picking some cherries, eating them, okay? But the design on the inside is so beautiful. And you can even hang it on the wall, which I thought about doing, I might do that someday, but right now I'm using it just to store my camera that this is on right now. It's from France and it's vintage and those two together, magnifique. 45 record holder. Is that even how you would say it? It holds 45, what's like the word? This is what they used to store 45 records in, okay? That's what it used to be for, but now I use it as my makeup box storage. And I found this at the same antique store I found the really cool vanity mirror at. And this was only, I think $20 or something which I thought was a pretty good deal because this design is very, very cool. I love it so much. And then online, I saw that these were going for like $60. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. <gasps> Let me show you a big item that I found recently. Jordan and I stumbled across, oops, don't wanna spoil it. Jordan and I stumbled across this really random antique like market area that was in this weird industrial area that you would never know there was an antique store in there. There were several of them. And look at this. I found this beautiful giant basket that is made in New Mexico. The lady told me, who knows if she's right, but it is beautiful. It seems really old. It doesn't seem new, not too old, but not too new. You know what I mean? It's one of those in-between things. Definitely not newer from like home goods, okay? But this could be from your granny's house, if you know what I mean. I love how giant it is. Definitely makes a statement. I feel like it would look good sitting up here with some like greenery or like dried something or other coming out of it. If you guys follow my vintage shop, Adobe Vintage on Instagram, if you're not, you better. Um, this is on there right now. It is a blonde Burlwood ice bucket. And there goes the ice in my fridge, screaming out, put me in this ice bucket, okay? If you guys know Burlwood, you know that that shit is expensive, okay? That is, if you look up how they got Burlwood, it is not ethical, it is not eco-friendly. So save the Burlwood trees. Actually, I think they're all extinct now because of the things that they did to the Burlwood trees back in the day. It's a statement piece. It is for the true designers. In my video comments, you guys know that this is like a gem. That's a rare piece. You're not gonna find this. So I put it on the shop for you guys. It's on Etsy and I don't know how it's still available, honestly. So I might be keeping this if nobody buys it soon because y'all come on now. Let me show you these beautiful art pieces I found. I think I found this at an estate sale or at a thrift store, I can't remember, but it was dumb cheap. It was like $4 for this beautiful oil painting of the ocean. 
I love the colors. You guys know I love my warm neutrals. And this is insane. Look at how beautiful that is. And then it's in this beautiful vintage teak frame. And it is signed. You can't go wrong with that. So I've been saying I'm going to do a gallery wall for a long time. Still don't know where I'm going to do it. If I'm going to do it here or where it used to be. But this will be a part of that gallery wall when it happens. Okay, so stay tuned. I'll bring you along. Next, I found this beautiful art piece. Now, I found this at an estate sale for $5. If you look closely, that is all hand painted and it is on, painted on a piece of bark from a tree. This has a very mid-century modern look to it. And then on the back, it says, I think this was painted by an indigenous artist from Australia. It has all of the information on the back and it is beautiful. The estate sale that I went to, they were obviously like a well-traveled family and they had a bunch of really cool art like that. So I picked this up for only $5. I thought that was a steal. I originally got it to sell, but I feel like I think I should keep this. It just has such a cool, unique look and would look kind of cool like on its own somewhere in the house. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you also saw this really cool like shed that I posted a picture of and there was all of these ceramics in this shed. I found this amazing little horse there that is actually a piggy bank and this is so amazing, so unique. I love ceramics. I collect all sorts of unique ceramics. But they have to have like a certain feel and a certain look to me and this, when I saw it immediately spoke to me, I had to get this chunky little horse. He is so chunky and so cute. I couldn't leave him there. He was $25, which some of you might be thinking, oh my God, $25 for a little chunky horse. Yes, yes. A second to last piece is this amazing rattan lamp. Jordan spotted this at an antique store and I immediately was like, yes, we need to get that for the shop because this is so cool. It has a mid-century modern feel because it's like spherical, but at the same time, it could go with any space. It's neutral enough that it could be for this or that. So I'm actually gonna post this on the Adobe Vintage Instagram today when you're watching this because I'm gonna go and take some pictures of it after I film this. And if you want it, I think I will be able to ship it. So all of you people that are always like, oh my God, I watched your video and I wish you could ship that item. I feel like I'll be able to ship this item. Last but not least, you guys, I found this at a thrift store for $25 and then came home and Jordan found them on Instagram at a like LA vintage seller. They were selling this item for $300, okay? Look at this, look at this, look at it. You guys, it is this beautiful ottoman, entirely wicker. Oh my God, it's a little heavy, so I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna be keeping this because it's so cool and I'm using it as my bedside table right now because it's movable, it has that shape, so it can just fit right into any little area. I am obsessed with this. And if I ever do sell it, don't you worry, it's not gonna be $300, okay? I try to give you guys some deals on Adobe Vintage. Just saying, I think I need to go thrifting some more and you should come along with me. Let's go, let's do that actually right now, let's go. Hit subscribe so you can see the next video. We're gonna go thrifting. We're gonna find some gems that'll hopefully be in next year's video. Okay, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. That has been another episode of Lindsay's Super Short Show. Hope you guys have a happy new year. Bye.